Mr. Speaker, the previous government always ran a trade surplus, while this government has 49 months of a trade deficit. They're also weak on jobs, both quantity and quality. When CIBC reported that reality, the finance minister simply trashed them. CIBC is a sham, he said. But it's not just CIBC. The same jobs analysis came from TD Bank, the Bank of Canada, the OECD, Morgan Stanley, York University, the PBO, and many others. Are they all lying, Mr. Speaker? Are all of them a sham? The Honourable Minister of Trade uh, Employment. Actually, I'm sort of disappointed the Honourable Member, but what the Parliamentary Budget Officer actually said is that this government has cut taxes by $3,400 for the average family, with a disproportionate amount of that money going to low- and middle-income families. Now, those lower taxes have helped create 1.2 million net new jobs, 80% full-time, 80% in the private sector, two-thirds in high-paying industries. The Liberal one-point plan for the economy is to raise taxes on families and job creators. We won't let them. The Honourable Member for Wascana. Mr. Speaker, this is a threadbare government in abject denial. They've increased taxes in each of their last five budgets. They've got the worst growth record in eight decades. Job creation, only half of what the previous government achieved. Job quality, the worst in 25 years. One-third of those soon retiring have no savings. Consumer debt is the highest ever. Federal debt has grown by nearly $5,000 for every man, woman and child in the country. Does the minister not understand that a big majority of Canadians want something new and different and better than this group? Minister of Employment. That is exactly the kind of question. Order. 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 The member has asked the question. I'm sure he's quite keen to hear the answer. The Honourable Minister of Employment. That is exactly the kind of question that we would expect from a party whose leader thinks budgets will just balance themselves. Right. The reality is here are the facts. Taxes, income taxes are down by 10%, and after-tax incomes are up by 10%. In fact, they're up by 14% for the lowest-income families. We've lowered taxes by $3,400 for the average family of four. We've balanced the budget. We have the lowest debt as a share of our economy by far of any of the G7 economies, Mr. Speaker. We are going to continue with our economic action plan because it's working. 